Welcome back to another video. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Danny. On this channel, I love talking about handbags. I talk about luxury handbags, contemporary brand handbags, and any beautiful handbags in this world that I might be obsessed about. If you like handbags too, certainly do subscribe, turn on notifications because I would love to have you back over and over again on my channel. If you enjoy my videos, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button as well because it will really help me out on the YouTube algorithm. I'm so excited for today's video because I have a couple of items to show you that are sent off for restoration or spa. And I am so, so happy with the outcome of these restorations. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the before and after of these two items. And then I will share with you the service that did it. It wasn't the most straightforward, so I wanna make sure that you have all the information before you go ahead and try out the service as well, if you choose to. Let's start out with the small item. So who remembers this item that I purchased like so, so long ago? When I got it, there was certainly some wear and tear on the item. So let me pull it out. This is the before. So here she is. This is my Chanel card holder. And I bought this off Vestia Collective a couple of years ago. I can't remember exactly when. And this is what she looks like now. So that's the front. That's the side, that's the back, that's the top and the bottom and on the inside that's what she looks like and the inside. Um, to be honest, um, the inside wasn't restored so <laughs> no big deal but if you look at this, doesn't she look like stunning? Um, and I'll show you the corners as well, doesn't that look amazing? Like. Can you tell that she wasn't in the best condition before? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up some photos of what she looked like before. So you can see in the before photos that there was really noticeable wear and tear in these corners, especially of the flap and the bottom over here. And um, from memory, there was some at the top in this corner over here as well on both sides. Now, I'm just going to bring it really close so you can have a look. Now, there are still some little stains on the lambskin, um, little black stains. I did ask the spa service to uh, try and remove it or clean it if possible. But, you know, obviously still to make sure that the lambskin is preserved because I didn't want them to rub so hard that the lambskin is then damaged because lambskin is known to be very delicate. So what the spa mainly intended to do was to fix the corner way. And what they did was they only painted the edge of it. And I'll bring it really close so you'll be able to see that the edge of the card holder is a slightly different shade of yellow from the, the quilted portion. So they just went ahead and painted all the edges around including like um, on, on here as well. And just look how good that looks. And I'll tell you in a minute how much I paid for this restoration. I'm gonna move on to the second item first because it'll make sense. All right, who remembers this unboxing over here? This was my Fendi baby spy bag. I'm just gonna put up the footage of the condition of the bag before. This is the front of the bag. So quite a bit of wear and tear on here. Um, just some general wear and tear on the leather where the paint is gradually coming off. Same over there, over there. And then quite a bit of wear and tear on this portion of the zipper. And a lot of wear on the zipper pull on one side, um, on the Fendi side, and on that pull tab over there. And on this side, there's even more wear than the other side. Um, so the leather is, or the paint is sort of quite worn over there and there as well, over there. And along here next to the zipper on this pull tab as well. Uh, the bottom doesn't look too bad. The, the bottom itself doesn't look too bad, but the corners and over there. And let's see what it looks like after the spa, hey? Now, let me show you what the bag looks like now. Ready? One, two, three. Ta -da! Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. I'm just like, I'm, I'm super impressed. I think they did such a good job on this. And I'll show you some close-ups. Just look at the bag. Look at how well this was painted. I'm going to try and puff it up for you so you can have a good look 
at the liver and look they it was so so good and that's the other side and that's the bottom but essentially they did a really good job on the whole whole bag I'll show you the zipper pool as well this is what it looks like now yeah and the other side of the zipper pool this is what it looks like now this is what they the tabs look like and this is what they look like now okay does it look like brand new or what um, and on this side look at that how good does that look how good does that look so I am so so impressed and I've been really enjoying this bag now she looks practically brand new so what was painted was the uh, the body of the bag the service left the handles alone because I felt like they were still in really good condition and I'm so so pleased with the outcome of this bag now in terms of a couple of hiccups as I mentioned earlier in the video there was one very small hiccup with this bag when I picked it up um, they had forgotten to paint um, a small section of the bag so fortunately I inspected it under the sun in my car before I actually drove away and I noticed that um, they had painted you know all this portion of the bag but they missed the spot so they missed this bit and they missed a bit of square that was sitting sitting underneath the tab so I just took it back in to the store before I left and I said you forgot <laughs> you forgot to paint this you missed the spot and you know they were very kind they apologized and because it was a little bit of a drive for me to get to the store I was like oh well now I have to drive back again and <laughs> To, to collect it I mean on that day I collected my card case anyway but I'm like oh do I have to drive back so they um, offered to you know fix the the paint and then to post it back to me so this is when I experienced uh, some hiccups um, they use a, a courier of course to have the bag delivered back to me and there was really some issues with the return of the bag to me so all the boo-boo happened with the courier when they picked up the bag from the service the spa service I got notification that they had picked it up now I received a link and the link was meant to give me the option of selecting how I wanted to have the bag delivered whether it be put it in a safe place and leave specific instructions as to where I was happy for the bag to be left or the parcel to be left or whether I wanted it to be delivered to a collection point um, but the link didn't allow me to select any any of them and I felt that you know common sense and also in my past experience when it comes to luxury items being delivered if there was no one home the courier is meant to take it to the post office or some other collection point where the item would be safe the problem was I was at work and then I got notification that the item was delivered and they wrote that the item was signed for and I'm like what on earth like what on earth so I had to rush back from work as soon as I could get back and when I got home I checked the front door and there was no parcel there was no parcel so I was really annoyed by that obviously I contacted the spa service straight away and I also did try to contact the courier service but because I was not the sender of the parcel I was not able to raise a request so I communicated with the spa service and said according to the delivery service they have delivered the item but there's nothing at my door and given that my front door where there's space to leave a parcel it is not secure it is open to the streets anyone can just collect it so I said it must have been stolen I was so panicky I was so anxious and apparently it was signed for as well who knows whether that's true or not sometimes these couriers would leave a photo evidence of the of where the parcel was dropped but they didn't include that either so I just automatically assumed that the parcel could have been stolen either that or they took it to a wrong address and the neighbor didn't realize that it was not um, their address on the label and they just signed for it anyway in any case uh, the spa service got onto it straight away and contacted the courier company and the response was oh it looks like they have delivered it to a wrong address they will pick it up and they will have it re-delivered to you tomorrow and I said oh thank goodness and hopefully this person 
wherever it was delivered to heaven, open the parcel and use the bag or <laughs> sell it, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fine, let them pick it up. And I hope, crossing my fingers and toys for the best. And please ask the courier company to have it delivered to a collection point because same thing tomorrow, I won't be home. And as far as I said, yes, no problem. I'm like, okay, great, fine. And the next day I was waiting for notification from like the courier company or something along those lines to give me updates on the plan and how the bag was traveling. I didn't receive any notification. And when I got home from work, I saw the parcel at the door. I was, I was so irritated. I was so irritated. Obviously it was visible to the street again and it wasn't even wrapped that well. So I'm not sure if someone had opened it and put it back together. I'll put up an image of what it looked like when I received it. It was just put in bubble wrap instead of like a box. And I think, you know, if you were going to have something delivered like that, it was going to be hand delivered and of course stored in a way in a delivery van where it wasn't going to be stacked fine. But, you know, I had expected a box, but it was just in bubble wrap. So you can imagine my annoyance at how I received the bag. In any case, I just calmed myself down and um, I unwrapped the wrapping, the bubble wrap. And fortunately, the bag was fine and in a condition that was absolutely amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was happy with the spa service and the craft that went into the restoration of the bag, I couldn't be happier. But the courier service, I was really, really disappointed. Certainly, I went ahead and provided feedback to the spa service themselves. They did apologize and um, they said that, you know, they were appreciative of the feedback and they would either speak to the courier company or, you know, potentially even change couriers. From my point of view, I mean, it's a local company for me. So I know that next time, if I'm ever worried about a parcel being delivered to me, I'm just going to drive there and pick it up just to get over the anxiety, it's not worth it. So that's what I plan to do in the future. Now that I've told you all that, I'm happy to share with you the company that did this amazing, amazing work because I just wanted to make sure that you knew the potential hiccups before you just went ahead and committed because I recommended them. Okay, so the name of the company is Soul Service and they're based in Adelaide. I cannot recommend their craft, their skills highly enough. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead and use them if you like their craft, especially if you live in Adelaide. Um, yeah, you got someone to go to now. I mentioned in this unboxing video of mine of my Louis Vuitton multicolor bag and that there was some of the monogram that had chipped off. So the plan is if I ever intended for that to be repainted, I would be going back to Soul Service to get that done. In terms of how much I paid for this, this was 250 Australian dollars for the repair service itself. And that was actually more than how much I paid for the bag. <laughs> um, so all in all, it came up to about $500 if you wanna think of it that way um, in terms of how much I paid for this bag. And I think it's absolutely worth it. I love the color of this bag now. I now have a deep purple bag in my collection. Now I said I was gonna share how much I paid for this restoration. So they didn't charge me for this restoration. Of course, I couldn't be happier with that. It was an amazing service that came for free. But um, what I did do was I dropped off this bag for restoration. Um, I dropped this off for restoration and I also sold two bags with them. So I consigned my Saint Laurent wallet on chain as well as my Chanel wallet on chain with them. And because I gave them quite a bit of business, so to speak, they were very kind and just restored this for free for me. So there you go. Look at all all that hardware. So along here on the top of the flap as well as in these corners as well. And the koala clasp over there, it says Louis Vuitton Paris. And then that's what she looks like from the side. There are two D-rings over here. That's what she looks like 